St George's Hall is Bradford's landmark, Grade 2 star listed Victorian Concert Hall. Famous for its fabulous acoustic, it is one of the few concert halls of its kind in the whole of Europe. Opened in 1853, St George's Hall was Bradford's first grand public building. It holds much of Bradford's history within its walls and has played a key role in the life of the city. Following a three-year closure and a multi-million pound refurbishment, St George's Hall reopened in spring 2019. The Bradford Civic Society installed a new blue plaque to mark the significance of the site. The hall was designed by local architects Lockwood and Mawson. Their design has the look of a Greek temple and includes five keystone heads over the original grand entrance. It also features Corinthian columns and pilasters. Built with sandstone from local quarries, the recent work involved over a thousand stone repairs, new windows and a new roof. The ground floor front of house area has been reconfigured to reveal the grandeur of the original entrance and includes a beautiful new cafe bar area fit for the 21st century. Going back in time, the hall opened under the patronage of Queen Victoria with a three-day music festival, including performances from the greatest musicians and singers of the day, Madame Clara Novello and Sims Reeves. On arrival at that evening event, from this point you would have seen a grand staircase reaching a half landing, then branching off to the right and left, leading you to the stalls. At the foot of the staircase, on either side, there were two bronze gaslit candelabra, 12 foot high. The hall was lit by 1,000 gas jets, a palace for the people. Heritage display around the site presents the story of St George's Hall through historic documents, programmes, posters, photographs and film footage. In this section on the ground floor, we find out about the founder of the hall, Samuel Smith, who was a local businessman, three times mayor of Bradford and a great music lover. He proposed a concert hall for Bradford not only to show the growing wealth and importance of the town in Victorian times, but to deal with some of the social problems. He wanted a large public hall in which thoroughly good concerts would draw people away from the beer houses and other low places. After the opening of the hall, it went on to host grand concerts, lavish balls, subscription performances with the Halley Orchestra and VIP visitors from around the globe. To celebrate the Hall's Golden Jubilee in 1903, this mosaic floor in the entrance was laid and unveiled at a special concert. Having been covered by a layer of concrete and then carpeted during the 1980s, it was revealed and restored as part of the recent refurbishment. On opening, St George's Hall was one of the largest concert halls of its kind in the country. At that time, it could accommodate over 3,000 visitors and would sometimes stretch to 5,000. Today, after much work to improve sight lines and comfort, the hall has the capacity to seat just over 1,200. The beautifully presented interior includes elaborate, original, decorative plaster work called Carton Pierre. This once included pairs of fat cherubs seated amongst the scroll work, and you can see the remnants in the cherub's foot here. In 1853, the opening of the hall was recorded by the Illustrated London News as Some Aladdin of Bradford discovered a wonderful lamp and in an incredibly short space of time has raised a music hall of noble proportions. <laughs>